Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video is some amazing news. So what I have right here is a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, which is an unlocked version purchased directly from Samsung. And finally, we have the update for the Samsung One UI 2.0, the official version. The beta is over. So I'm going to do the install. I'm going to show you all the new features on One UI 2.0 with Android 10 on the Samsung smartphones. It should be coming out very soon to Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus as well. So let me just tap this right over here. Now it says, this is One UI Beta Pro Program Operation Team. We are grateful that you participated and now the beta program is complete and basically they want you to update the whole thing. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna fast forward the video and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the new amazing features of One UI 2.0 with Android 10. So let's dive in and get started as soon as my update is done. All right, so the phone has restarted. The update is almost complete. If I pull this down, you'll see it says finishing system update. And I'll let you know, I'm gonna bring in a Samsung Galaxy S10 that is running the older version of One UI uh, 1.1 to also compare as I show you the new features and how they're different from the older features. So let's dive in. Grab that S10 and with this S10 Plus, get you all the information you need to know. Let's dive in and get started and look at all the new features and changes with the Samsung uh, One UI 2.0. So let me go to my, my about phone. I'm going to tap on software information. Let's do that same thing over here. Now I'll let you know real quick. Uh, this one right over here is running the older version of Samsung One UI and this phone is here for comparison purposes. So if I go over here, you'll see that we have One UI 2.0 and Android 10, okay, right there, and you can move these around. And then what we have is we have One UI 1.1 with Android version 9, which is gonna be right here, okay? So let's uh, do a quick comparison and see all the new amazing features uh, on the final build of the One UI 2.0. Now, one of the biggest differences is the full screen gestures. Now, as I launch my applications, all right, let me just launch a couple of applications right over here. Uh, let's launch uh, this application. If I'm gonna go into my multitasking pane, I simply swipe from bottom to top, just like that, to bring up the multitasking pane, as you just saw. Uh, with this one, you do have to tap this button here that brings up all the background tasks right over here. Now, when I move it side to side, notice there is no bouncing animation. So look at that, it's straight. It goes and stops, it goes and stops. Now with this one, we have slight bouncing animations. So that's something that is new as well. Otherwise, the look and feel is in fact the same. Now when I launch an application, again, if I wanna go home, I swipe up. With this one, if I wanna go home, I tap on the button. Additionally, if I do have an application up, I can swipe between applications just like this. All right, so I can go left, I can go right, and I can switch between applications no problem. Now with this one again, you have to tap the button and go into the specific application that you wanna pick. So those are the full screen gestures. Now if I go to the settings right over here real quick, let's go to the settings. Uh, let's go down over here to the display on both of these smartphones. Again, One UI 2.0 right here. And then we have the One UI 1.1, which most people have right now, but soon you'll be getting the One UI 2.0. So as you can see, we have the full screen gestures right here. If I tap on more options, we have two different options. With this one, I can only have one option. Now this one right here, the full screen gestures with three dots is the same as you have here, but swipe from sides and bottom is the brand new option. So for example, if I wanna go back, I go like this, I go back, all right? Now with the older option, with this one, if you wanna go back, you have to swipe from the corner up, all right? So that's the big difference with the navigation bars. One of the biggest changes, if you go to the settings over here, let's go to the settings. And this is one of my favorites, by the way. Uh, if I go to my display, tap, tap. If I scroll down, go to edge screen, all right? Edge screen. Uh, what you have is you have brand new edge lighting options. So when I go to lighting style, uh, when I actually get a notification on my smartphone, I can pick from, look, normally we only get these effects right here, wave, bubble, multicolor, glow, glitter, all right, so you got all these options. Uh, with this one, I have things like the spotlight, all right, look at that. I'm getting a beautiful spotlight on the top. I've got the fluid option, as you can see. Uh, if I scroll over, I have the eclipse effect right here, okay, looks fantastic. I got the fireworks effect. You don't have those right over here. 
I got the heart effect as you can see we do have the eclipse effect on both of these smartphones so that's good but when it comes to heart eclipse fireworks look at the way it looks look at those fireworks all right I of course can change the color as well so when I go back look at that so these are new edge lighting effects for notifications on your One UI 2.0 device. We also have new and fluid animations. So if I launch an application, take a look at the, take a look at the way it just comes up and goes down. All right, look at this. Quick, it is nice, but it's, it quickly goes up, comes down. This one just has more character, okay? Same thing with the folders. If I tap on this, look at the way it comes up and goes away. Tap, tap, gone, all right? So slowly comes up, boom. And then if I tap on this one right here, I can change the colors and you get a live preview of the color you're picking. With this one, you can change the colors as well, but only when you go out, you see the new color. So I like the way they did this one as well. All right, so that's great. Another thing I really like is when you pinch the screen, all right, on both of these smartphones, when you tap on wallpaper, now you get a brand new screen. Not only do you get a preview of what you have on your lock screen and the home screen, you also have a breakdown here to choose your wallpapers. Now with this one, it goes straight into your Galaxy theme store, which you can do by tapping this as well. You get the same thing, all right? But when you pinch and go inside, you get a nice preview of what your setup is right now. Now with this one, you have to go to the wallpapers and change what you want. With this one, you tap on wallpapers, you go to the same place, but I just like the initial presentation better now. Now, if I go back to, into the settings right over here in both of these smartphones, now overall the settings look the same, you know, it works the same, but when you go into your um, device care, things are gonna change a little bit. So if I tap on device care, as you can see, there are two different device care sc uh, screens. Now, most of the options and functionality is exactly the same. You got battery storage, memory security, you got battery storage, memory security. It's all the same, you go inside, they just look a little bit different. This is more up to date, more modernized. So that's fantastic. You do have a bunch of options right in the forefront. With this one, you have to press this, go into settings, and those options will pop up. But with this one here, they come to the forefront. It's much more easy to take a look at. Now, just to show you animation, let me just go to storage right here, right here. Uh, let's go back, go to storage. Let's tap on clean now. Take a look at the animation, okay? And with this one, it's just the old style. Nothing wrong with this, but this is just new and more up to date, all right? So the device care looks a little bit different. That's another change. Now, one more a massive change actually comes in the actual camera application. So when I launch the camera application, you'll notice that at the bottom, uh, the icons to select your modes look a little bit different. So with this one, you can swipe over, of course. With this one, you have all these options just sitting at the bottom. So if you want to go, let's go go back to the photo mode. You have the one, two, three, four, five, six, six swipes to go back to photo mode. With this one, what they've done is they only give you four modes. One, two, three, four, and then you have to tap more to access all the rest. And of course, if you tap on this icon, everything is fully customizable as well, all right? So uh, you have things that are important to you right in front of you, and anything that, that's beyond that, you tap on more to access those. Now there's one more difference here. If I go to the pro mode right over here, you'll notice that they change the way that looks as well. So if I tap on pro mode, uh, let's tap on the ISO selection tool. As you can see, this looks much better. Operates real nice, all right? Now with this one, you're also getting a vibrational feedback, a haptic feedback as you're moving along. With this one, there's no feedback. It just goes back and up. So let's go to this one here. Let's tap on this one. Again, you're getting that feedback. And if I tap on this one, there's no feedback. Same functionality, but a different way to uh, look at these things. Now let me go back to photo, one more thing. If I pinch in and pinch out, you get the 0 0.5, one times, two times, and 10 times optical zoom available to tap right on it. With this one, you can't do that. You have to pinch and zoom all the way through, all righty? So that's a little bit different right here. Boom, two times. With this one, you have to sit there and calculate just like that. Now I got it two times. So that's the differences in the actual camera application. Also, if I go to My Files application, if I tap on My Files application, let's launch it here and launch it over here. All right, My Files. Now, one thing you'll notice is if I delete something right from here, let's say I just want to delete something, boom, move to trash. Let's do the same thing over here. Boom, move to trash, all right? Now what's gonna happen is 
I can go back over here on One UI 2.0, tap on this button, and go to Trash and Restore Deleted Files. With this one, I don't have that option. Okay, so if I delete something in here, it's gone. With this one, I can edit this, tap, tap, and I can go boom, boom, restore. All right. There's also a slight difference in the dark mode. Uh, let's go to the settings real quick. Now, over here, if I go to the display, you'll notice it says dark mode. Here it says night mode. So it's been renamed to dark mode. If I go inside, again, most of the things are the same, except for the adaptive color filter that you can also enable but the biggest thing is when I turn on this night mode when I go back home uh, the actual wallpaper in the background darkens at the same time so it's still easy on your eyes so if you had a if you turn this on and you had a bright wallpaper it will still look bright uh, with this one uh, when you turn on the night mode over here the brightness actually becomes darker so it makes sense alrighty let's tap on that go back up we also have something known as the focus mode. So if I go over here, if I swipe over, I have the uh, focus mode. It's going to be somewhere right over here, right here. So let's go over here. We do not have the focus mode. If I go to the settings of this smartphone, and if I go into the digital well-being and parental controls, you'll notice that we don't have parental controls option here. We also do not have the focus mode that allows you to avoid distractions from your phone and keep your life in focus. So if I tap on work from home, if I click on start, uh, what I can do is I can add a bunch of applications I want to enable and then click start. And then if I go back out, most of the applications will be darkened out. I cannot uh, access them. With this one, you can't do that. So this allows you to block applications while you're doing some work, which is fantastic. When you're done with this, you go back here on the top, just toggle it off and all the applications become available again. Again, tap on this one. Uh, let's just turn it on. Look at the way they just disappear as I start everything. When I go to the app drawer, all these applications grayed out are unaccessible, okay? But basic applications such as the clock is gonna be uh, accessible, no problem. So we have the focus mode to avoid distractions from overusing and abusing your phone and ultimately yourself. One more thing, when I pull down this thing right here, here's the brightness slider. If I press and hold, look at the way, they look a little bit different. So this one, look at this, uh, the way this thing is. It looks a little bit different. I can tap on uh, this one here too. Now this one, the shape is a little bit different. So this one here, oops, there we go. All right, so that's great. All right, so that brings us to the end of the new features on the Samsung One UI 2.0 compared to the 1.1 on the older versions. You guys will be getting this update very soon. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.